is if you guys are interested in seeing a video on the all I call this I looked at this and I call this the ultimate lawn care trailer setup and um, what I'd like to do is do a second video with you Corey because you've got 15 20 lawn care trailers that you have set up both open and enclosed yep. and what I'd like to do is I would like to do a walk around of an either an open or a closed trailer or possibly both show these guys how you've got them set up mm -hmm. help these guys get some ideas in their own head how they could set up their own so if you guys want to see that say show me the lawn care trailer video put it in the comments down below and I'll come down to Iowa and I'm honestly I'm a little disappointed I grew up in southern Minnesota and we used to come down here looking for the good old corn-fed Iowa girls and I haven't seen any. <laughs> well you, you haven't been to it we can take you to Casey's across the street. I'm going to be heading down to Ann Kenny, Iowa to build the ultimate lawn care trailer with Ballard Innovation. How you doing, Corey? Doing good, buddy. Good How seeing you. Doing? Good to see you again. My dad actually built this because uh, we were lifting these heavy gates over and over and over. And you, you let them slam to the ground. The welds break loose. It's dangerous. The cool part about the easy gate is there's other gates as assist out there. But with this, you just need one, which leaves the other side of your trailer open for other gear. And, and so a lot of the other ones out there, you got to put one on each side. Yeah, so really with a couple fingers, you can lift and lower this gate. Uh, the nice thing about it is, if you want to get it any lighter, we've got the adjustable chain linkage here. It's going to take 85 to 90 percent of the weight off the gate. I could pull a couple links out of here and get it so light that you could flip it up. I mean, a lot of guys flip them up with their foot, so it just makes a huge difference. Okay, so what we've got here, guys, is the cone caddy. So what we think is really important on most job sites is having safety cones. So we put three safety cones out. They come with the marketing sign as well. So this is a steel marketing sign. Whether you're hiring great people or not, it's a great message. You can put your phone number on here. There. And it's on your website. It's on the website called The Cone Caddy. Some guys don't run the marketing sign, they just put their license plate right there, which is a nice place to keep it safe. Ah, uh -huh. cool. Consider the green touch to be the Cadillac of trimmer racks, is that right? I do, I believe they're the best on the market. They've got a lot of great features. Lockable, they're built tough, got the quick release. You can get them all keyed the same, so you've got one key to keep everything together. You've also got the engine support kit here, so when you're running along, you're not putting all that pressure on the shaft or the trimmer. So we also sell the trimmer head covers to keep them protected if you're getting rained on. But the engine support kit is key. And these lock right in here, push that in, it's locked. And then you've got the quick release at top, will release everything in the trimmer rack. I've also got the Darwin grips on these trimmers and just totally changes the way you trim, the way you hold the trimmer, the leverage point, you're not hunched over. These Darwin grips are a great add-on to any trimmer. And that's how you lock it. That's pretty amazing. Guys, okay, so we've got the backpack lower rack going in here. Uh, it's gonna work on all your different brands, all different sizes. The tube goes right on the back. They come with the short and long closing arms. So all the different brands, as these blowers get bigger and bigger, it's gonna work on all your different brands. Locks in place, you've got your key right there. You cannot get these things out. They're completely safe. So we got the TBX 100 toolbox. Guys, this also has the quick release, lockable. It's got a stainless work top on it, so if you need to work on some few things in here, it's waterproof, so you can keep inside. We got our Cujo shoes, which we sell. Hearing protection, safety glasses. Got the first aid with the fire extinguisher kit inside. You can keep tools in here. Anything extra you need to keep on the job site and keep it secure. Again, quick release, locks in place. Corey, can you explain to me this fuel system because this is something that I think I want. Yeah, so it's a 15 gallon, all steel, DOT certified. It's got the DOT tag right on top. It's a gravity fed tank, so we built a rack to get it up in the air, which also helps us get a few accessories underneath it. But it's got the close off valve here. You can lock the handle, of course. So we've got the Power Locker 300 here. We've got these in two different sizes. Guys, these slide right into place. So you pull your front pin, slide it in place, pull this pin, lock it down. I'm going to show you putting the mower in place. As we showed you last time, our 4.1 cubic foot all in a bagger. This works on any mower. We've got nine different brackets. The cool part is they come with a trailer bracket. So on this trailer right here, we've got it added right here. You have to choose where you want to put it on your truck and trailer. Guys are worried about jackknifing. But again, locks it right in place. 
You know, a lot of guys have trouble with keeping these nice, not when they're using them necessarily, but they're sliding around in the back of trucks and trailers. It comes with the bracket, can go in your truck, trailer. Some guys are actually mounting these brackets in their garages or their workshop. So when they're not using their bagger, they're able to hang it on the wall or hang it on the shop, keep it safe when they're not using it. So a lot of the tools you've seen on the open trailer actually work equally as well on the enclosed trailer. So we've got this thing wrapped up. Now we're not stuck keeping this stuff in any one certain spot, right? Right, you can put it anywhere that makes sense for your trailer and your setup. So what you guys can do, if you don't want this mounted here and you want it mounted back there, you gotta drill your hole. So any one of these pieces of equipment can go anywhere. Exactly, and we've got more racks as well, hedge trimmers and all kinds of different things that, you know, whatever your business looks like, whatever tools you need, you've got the option to put it anywhere you want.